Hi family, I'm Jordan Thorpe and this is Jordan's Journey channel where we are moving forward in life and in faith. If you're new here, welcome. If you're already subscribed to the family, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today, family, I wanted to talk to you in regards to self-control. Self-control. And particularly when it comes to things that we desire, when it comes to things that we really want. In my previous video, I was talking to you all about double for your trouble, double that God, many of you would be receiving double for your shame, double for your humiliation, okay? Many times as we're going along our journey of becoming who God is calling us to become and we're transitioning from the world into the kingdom, Many things are going to be taken from us and we are going to be tested to see if if he is enough. If he is enough without all the material things. God is going to test you to see, are you making an idol out of this thing? God doesn't tempt us, but he will test us. And there are tests that we are going to have to pass before we truly get the things that we desire that actually comes from God. During these past few days, I've been hearing this term that has been coined by psychologists called delayed gratification. Delayed gratification. And it stood out to me, so I went up and looked the definition and this is just a Google definition and it says the act of resisting an impulse to take an immediately available reward in the hope of obtaining a more value reward in the future. So it's the act of not doing things off of impulse for an immediate reward, but having some sort of self-control where you can delay for instant gratification to receive a more valuable reward in return. And so this is the art of self-control. And self-control is a fruit of the spirit. When you are dwelling with God and you are in a relationship with God, you will produce fruit. And in order to produce that fruit, you are going to go through different processes to be able to produce the fruit that comes from the Holy Spirit. And delayed gratification is a that is a process that you should go through that will produce self-control because many of us see things and we want them instantly we want them now and god said many things are going to be presented presented to you the enemy will come and produce counterfeits that will look very similar to what you desire but there's something else that's attached to it because when you are making an adultery idolatry when you are making an idol out of the things that you desire and you don't care how you get it how it comes you just want it and you want it now there's consequences oh you'll get it you'll get the marriage but he'll be a narcissist you'll get the house but you might end up in floor closure you'll get it for the instant gratification but Ultimately, it's not what God's best for you. Any time that we are asking God for things or the, the desires where, where God has given us the desires of our hearts, we're going to be tested. So you're going to have to be able to resist some things. Everything that comes along your path, everyone who comes along your path is not always for your good. Some people are coming along to test you. The enemy is prowling around like a lion to tempt you. There's counterfeits. There's all types of things that come along your path. And that's why the Bible says to be sober minded <laughs> because the, the enemy is prowling around because everyone is not for your good. Everything is not for your good. But you have to be have discernment to be able to know what is from God and what is not from God. So that's why you have to have self-control to be able to resist some things. 
You got to be able to resist some things. You have to be able to say no. You have to be able to turn things down. Even though it can look good in the moment, even though it can feel good in the moment, you have to be able to say no. Because there are consequences. The word does tell us that when you delight yourself in the Lord, he will give you the desires of your heart. He will give you the desires of your heart. But your heart posture will be tested. The desires of your heart will be tested. How bad do you want it? Are you making an idol out of this thing? Are you worshiping this thing? Are you willing to give up all your morals, all your values, all your virtue, all your righteousness to obtain this thing? Because if you are, now you have made this an idol. Now you're worshiping. And God says, you, there should be no other God before me. The real thing will not manifest into your life until you are okay with just you and God. Everyone is going to get tempted. Even Jesus got tempted. In the wilderness, before he went out into ministry, the enemy came to him. It was Matthew 4. We can start at verse 8. And it says, again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. So many of you are seeing all the glitz, all the glamour, the houses, the cars, the nice things. The status and then he's like yeah you can have that but you got to worship me so now this thing has become an idol and some of you are bowing down and worshiping the thing your desires of your heart posture will be tested before god actually gives you the real thing the enemy will come with these counterfeits that look very similar but you have to have the con self-control enough to resist and say no i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait on what god has for me i'm not gonna settle but i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait for god's best for me and in this scripture habakkuk 2 3 it reads for the vision is yet for an appointed time it speaks of the end and it will not prove false Though it lingers, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. So the vision for your life is for an appointed time. So God shows you some things. You desire some things. Your desires are in alignment with what God has for you. And, and he's saying the vision and the things that you want is for a, an appointed time. The vision speaks for the end. So you're looking at the end, but God's saying there's still a process that you have to go through before you reach the end. So even though I showed you the end, you're comparing your right now moment to the end. God said it's not over. You're not at the end. You're still going along your process. You're still going along your journey. They're still developing that's taking place. So even though the vision speaks of the end, it will not prove false. It's not going to show up false. Though it will linger, it may seem like it's delayed because you want it now, because you feel like you're ready for it now. But God says, wait for it. It will certainly come and it will not delay. God said, this is a test of self-control. And there will be people and opportunities that are, that are going to come along your path that's going to look very similar to what God showed you, to what God spoke over your life for your end. And God said, I need you to be able to resist these things because these things are not from me. And the only way that you are going to conform to these things, that if you're going to accept these things, if you are in adultery, if you're making an idol out of these things. Because when you are in relationship with me, you will know and have discernment to see that these opportunities, these people that are coming along your path, that are causing confusion, they don't have any fruit. 
And the Bible test is, says to test the spirit by the fruit. So you will know that these things are not coming from God, that are not coming from me. But if you choose to continue to indulge in these opportunities and partake in activities and relationships with these people, you are going to produce some fruit that's not from God. God says, wait for it. Wait for it because everything that you desire, everything that he showed you will come to pass. It may delay, but it will not lie. It will manifest in your life, okay? So God said, this is a test of self-control. And so in order to pass this test, you must practice delayed gratification. And so that's all I have for now. We have the My Journey to Self Challenge going on in Jordan's Journey app. There are video instructions in the Bible reading plan. If you need additional resources to help you grow in life and faith, make sure you check the description box below or visit us on the web at jordansjourneycoaching.com. God loves you so much and so do I. Bye.